happy chick. On this episode today, we are going to be making a mead. What's a mead, you say? A mead is a wine made from honey instead of sugar. This recipe I um, am trying out for the very first time. It is a white hibiscus ginger mead. And it is a take on my other mead that I have made previously in the past, my Viking's blood, which uses red hibiscus and ginger. And it turned out really, really good. And I thought, well, what's the difference between the white hibiscus and the red hibiscus? I thought I'd give it a try. So, what I have here today, it is um, made from a tea that I made from earlier. Uh, 77 grams of white hibiscus flowers, two ounces of sliced cold ginger that's been uh, sliced. I haven't taken the skins off or anything, just rinsed them off, sliced them up, chucked them in. And then four uh, cups of boiled hot water and one tea bag, black tea bag. Gives it a little bit of tannin. So I've got that in this cup over here. Um, I also have my uh, honey. We're going to be doing three pounds of honey today. So I think we're ready to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is hydrate my yeast. So in my little cup here, I've got... I have a half bag of Lalvin 71B that I used um, on a previous wine or mead or something that I've made. So I have a half packet. I use about a half a packet um, for uh, my brews. A whole packet's good up to five gallons, and I'm only doing one gallon, so I only did about a half a packet. So this is the leftover, so I'm going to use that on. Okay, and then I'm going to pour in a little bit of my water. Hydrated and get them going, waking them up. Boom, stir it up a little bit. I'm sticking on the sides and the bottom. There we go. Set that one to the side there. All right. So in our fermenter now, we are going to measure out three pounds of honey. I've got a little kitchen scale. Make sure that it's on the ounces poundage. We're gonna put our um, we're gonna put our fermenter on it and then tear it out so that it's at zero. And these have been sitting in some warm water to kind of help loosen it up a little bit. Uh, so it's not so hard to pour in. These are two pounds each container, but we'll see what we get. <laughs> so this one should go all the way to two pounds. You didn't see that. <laughs> okay, so I've got three pounds of honey in my fermenter. Right there. I'm going to rinse out this one jug because it still has a little bit of uh, honey in it. The other one I still have about half of a jug. So it was pretty close. So this is my wine. Oh, no. So this is um, my tea that I made earlier. The hibiscus ginger tea with the one black uh, tea bag. We're going to pour a little bit in this uh, honey jug here. It's nice and cooled now, so it's not going to kill any of the um, the yeast or anything once we introduce it. Plus, I've got all this cool water over here, so I'm not worried about it at all. It smells good. It's got like a... Well, definitely can smell the ginger. And it's got like a citrusy smell to it. 
Um, it's really concentrated, so it's hard to tell what the color is going to look like. It's not red, red, red like the red hibiscus. It's more like a black, it looks like a black tea, really. Um, but it's got that citrusy note from the hibiscus. A little bit of an earthy note as well, I think. So I think this will be interesting. Um, I'd like to compare it with my uh, actual Vikings blood that I made. I'll probably make another batch on this show anyway, because a lot of people like it. Um, so we will see. So there's that. I'm going to pour the rest of this in, and then we're going to start shaking the bejesus out of this so that uh, we can get all of the honey incorporated in the... That's on the inside. Yeah, all the honey incorporated in with the liquid. And then we're going to just fill the rest up with water. And then, of course, our um, our yeast mixture. All right. So once again, I want to shake up this up. I want to cover the hole that's on this lid. I've got a name for it, but I'm not going to tell you that until the very end. I can't call it Vikings blood because it's not red like blood. Right? <laughs> Alright, let's see how we're doing here. Looks like I've got all the honey incorporated. Pretty much. It's not stuck to the bottom anymore. So we're going to fill this back up with a little bit more water. And then we're going to pitch our yeast and go from there. All right, mm. it smells really, really much of a honey right now. Ugh. All right. So once again, we don't want to overfill this. Um, we want as much as we can. So once you get to the, like this hip part of the bottle, you probably should stop. We'll go a little bit more. I really don't have a whole lot of water in there with the yeast so it is a little on the foamy side okay I don't think I'm gonna risk much more than that and then I'm gonna go ahead and pitch our yeast stir this up a little bit so it's not stuck to the bottom okay that's good Give this a little shake, and then we're going to get our specific gravity. Okay. Okay, we're going to grab some of the liquid. It's really foamy. Hopefully, anyway. Okay. Put that on there. We're going to drop our hydrometer down. Okay. So our specific gravity starting is going to be, sometimes you have the bubbles and you have to kind of spin it, the hydrometer, to get the bubbles off of it so you can kind of see it a little bit better. So it's 1.120 is our starting specific uh, gravity. And that's the amount of sugars in solution. So, don't need that anymore. back in since we're just starting out it's all good everything's been sanitized and everything put our lid on and then put our airlock in and it has been filled it's a little over full um it has been filled with um sanitizer water but you can use any kind of drinking alcohol liquid if you don't want to put the sanitizer in I mean, you've got it. You might as well use it, right? All righty. Make sure she's in. 
kind of leaning a little bit. All right, so we're going to label this up, and we're going to put this in uh, a dark, darkened area and even temperature between 60 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit is optimum. And we will check back with her in about 30 days to see how she's doing. Now, for the surprise that I told you. So this is the exact same recipe, like I said, for the Viking split that I've made in the past. I haven't shown you yet, but I probably will eventually. Uh, but it is made with white hibiscus, not red hibiscus. So I can't call it Viking's blood, right? Because it's not like red. So in the essence of the same theme of things like Viking blood, I'm going to call this Shield Maiden's Tears. What do you think? If you have a better suggestion, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Looking forward to the next one, and we will see you. Have a great day. Thanks again. Bye. Cups of hot water, and it's about to room temperature. That made no freaking sense at all.